Nokia started as a pulp mill near the town of Tampere in Finland as the business grew. Founder Fredrik and his friend Leo built a second mill near the town of Nokia with better hydropower resources. From it, the two brands created a shared company calling Nokia AB, named after the site of the site. When Eidstrom uh, retired in 1896, McCallum became the chairman and in 1902 expanded the business into electricity and in 1904 uh, Sherman finished rubber works founded by Edward Pollan established a factory for his rubber business near the Nokia town and also call the business as such. In 1922, Nokia AB entered a partnership with Summon and a cable methods, a cable factory which was all later handled held under fallen leadership the rubber business grow rapidly when it finally moved to Nokia region and so the cable business followed. Around the around that time the company also starts making respirators for box millions and delivery fees 1930s to 1999. 1997, the three companies marched to the create Nokia Corporation. The business were restructured to focus on four major business for a street, cable, rubber, and electronics. In 1970, Nokia also entered the networking and radio industry. Around that time, the company also started making military for Finland Defense Forces. Remember Nokia branded bullets. Remember those Nokia branded bullets. Of course, being a military equipment business, Nokia also had some fair share of consumers. Finland Agreement with the Soviet Union in 1960s allowed the Nokia to expand in slave market. The big sum of the components Nokia supplied for Soviet are imported from the US US Deputy Minister of Defense. Richard Parley later said that Nokia had a secret cooperation with the Pentagon that allowed the United States to keep track the technology of developments in the Soviet Union through trading with Nokia. In 1987, Nokia started to acquire many businesses under CEO Kerry Karoma. It bought television maker Salora in 19. 84. Swedish electronic and computer maker Lexer in 1985, then a television maker Organic in 1987. This acquisition propelled Nokia as the third largest television manufacturer in Europe. Nokia also acquired Mobira which launched the Nordic mobile telephone service in 1981, the world's first international cellular network and first to allow international roaming. The next year, 1982, Mobira launched the Mobira Senator Nokia's first mobile phone and from there the Nokia brand has become has become the most beloved mobile phone brand in the world. 
Of course, we won't go into details in their recent history with Microsoft and how they use Google to join them and Android. But the fact that the company is still alive even after it just keeps on innovating and restructuring itself to so that no matter how many challenges the Nokia brand remains and it is easy here to stay. But for the youngest among us, with the recap, in uh, 2013, Nokia sold device and services business that was responsible for Nokia mobile phones to Microsoft. In 2015, Nokia now the return to the smartphone market via SMB Global. The Finland based startup that is exclusive license of Nokia brand on smartphones. But further about the scale of the phone unit, the Microsoft recommends the online available book update along. Anyways, Nokia Mobile should have launched a Nokia 155 instead of Nokia 152 commemorate Nokia's 155 5th birthday missed opportunity to happy birthday.